Hi everyone, and thanks for joining me back. First, I want to congratulate everyone who has come this far again. If you continue learning motion design in this temp, I'm sure you will succeed. Okay, after all the compliments, let's get back to business. So after we've finished learning about the layer panel, and after we've finished creating the final animation, we're ready to learn how to render it. We will learn how to render different files, such as JPEG, PNG, MP4, and more. Before rendering the project, always clean it first. So let's go to Edit, Purge, All Memory and Disk Cache. That way, we prevented unnecessary issues that might be happening during the rendering. So now, let's get to the rendering stuff. And the first we will learn is how to render a JPEG file. Because maybe there is a certain frame that I want to present to the client, or I need to create a thumbnail for a YouTube video or any other such reason. To do it first, we need to find a frame from the video. Let's select this frame. Now let's go to Composition, Save Frame As, and choose File. Here is the shortcut for this action. In our case, we will click on the file. And now you may have a window pop up. Ignore it. Just press save. And now After Effects has brought us to the render queue panel. In this panel, we see the composition that we are rendering from. As you can see, it is master comp. So the first thing we do is choose which file we want to export. Click on output module. In format, choose JPEG sequence. In Format option, choose Maximum, or drag the scale to 10. Click OK, then click OK here as well. And in Output 2, we choose which folder on the computer we want to save the render. Let's find the folder of Class 0. And here, we will open a new folder called Samples, where all our renderings will be. You can call it Renders as well. Let's choose this folder, and now we can name our file. But first, I want to explain what this means. So master comp is because this is the composition we rendered from, and 0, 0, 0, 0, 8, 20 is the point in time for the specific frame we chose to render. Sometimes this can be very convenient if we want to remember where this frame is in the project's timeline. In our case, we will change the name to class 0 underscore 01. It is very important to add the suffix V01. V symbolizes the word version. You should write down this extension because we usually render more versions later. Because it is useful to know how many versions we have already done and check the previous versions in case we need them. Now click save. And the last thing we want to do is click the render button. The render is finished and now we can check it. We can get to the render through the folders on the computer, or we can simply open the output module and click on the link found here. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Looking great. Now I want to make a very important note while rendering JPEG. In cases where we want to render a JPEG, we must ensure that the preview is full. Let's see what will happen when the preview is on the quarter. I will close the previous rendering here. Now, I will select the exact same settings as before, and here too, I will choose the maximum quality. Now I'll click on the first JPEG so that it chooses the same name for me, and now I'll change the extension to V02. Render it, and see what comes out. Notice that even though I chose the maximum quality, the JPEG is very small, and if I zoom in, I will see that the quality is pixelated. So remember that before you render a JPEG, ensure the preview quality is full. I'll delete this image. Again, don't forget to change it to full when you render a JPEG. And now, let's learn how to render a PNG without a background, a transparent PNG. For example, 
I want to render this button because I want to use it later in my designs in Photoshop or anything else. So first thing, let's go into the precomp of the button. And as you can see, there is no background in this precomp. And now here it doesn't matter to us where we stand on the timeline because there is no movement here. Now again, go to Composition, Save Frame As, and choose File. You can move it here. We will close the last render. And now I see that I have a new render in the queue. This time in Output Mode, I will select a PNG sequence. And if we want the PNG to come out with a transparent background, we must select here in channels, RGB plus alpha. We will click OK and choose where to render the PNG. We will automatically be in the folder where we rendered something the last time. And also, in the case of PNG, After Effects gives an automatic name according to the project's data. That is because we rendered the frame through a precomp called Call to Action. So the name of the file is Call to Action and the numbers are the point in the timeline of that precomp. In this case, we can delete the numbers but leave the name call to action, and of course, we will add a suffix V01 and click on a save button. Now click on render and see what we got. Let's click on the link, and there it is. As you can see, PNG did come out without a background. Let's get out of all the folders. You can close that too. If we have too many renders here, we can select a certain render and simply delete it using Backspace. So after learning how to render static files, let's learn to render video files. Let's start by learning how to render a high quality video file. The file will weigh a lot, but the quality will be really good. The most important thing to check before we render to a video file is to see that the work area is exactly where the animation ends. I will explain. If the work area were here, then the video would be rendered including this whole part. But we don't need this whole part because there is no animation here. So in the final render we will have a black screen with nothing. I will press Ctrl Z. And now, let's see how to render a quality video file. Go to Composition, and this time, we will choose Add to Render Queue. And again, we are in the queue panel. Here we can see the previous renderings. And here we see the new render. Let's enter the output module, and in Format, we will choose Quick Time. In Format Options, we can choose one of the first three options. In our case, we chose Animation. Click OK here. And here. And now, let's choose where to save the video. We're already in the sample folder. This time we'll change the name to class 0 suffix v01. Because that's the name of the entire project. Click Save and click Render. Now let's wait for the render to finish. So the rendering is finished. Let's go into the folder to check how it looks. Here is the MOV file. It weighs 784 megabytes. That's a lot for such a short video. But the quality of the video will be maximum. If you also use the VLC program to view video files, you may see the video playing in a fragmented way. Don't panic. The file is perfectly fine, simply because of the high quality. Some media programs like VLC have trouble displaying the video in real time. Let's close all the renderings. Exit this panel. And now we'll learn how to render a video file without a background. For this example, let's render the logo animation. So let's get into the precomp of the logo. As you can see, this precomp also has no background layer. Now let's decide how far we want to render this precomp. Let's say until the 15th second. Stand here with the time indicator and press N to shorten the work area. Go to the composition, add to render queue. 
In the output module, select QuickTime. Here we will select animation. And most importantly, select RGB plus alpha in channels. This is how we actually tell After Effects to render the file without a background. Let's choose where to render it. We see the previous video that we rendered because it is the same file type, MOV file. Okay, and now let's see what about the name. The name is good this time. We'll just add the suffix V01. Click save and render. Let's see what we got. We already know to ignore the fact that it's played in a fragmented way. The video looks a bit pixelated because the size of the precomp was very small. We can insert this video into the project to check how it looks. So let's drag this video into our project. Let's go to master comp and drag the video here. And this is how we render a video file without a background. Once again, I remind you that since you have already rendered many things and you do not have room in the panel, you can select a certain rendering and delete it. Okay, let's close these panels and learn how to render an MP4 video file. The advantage of rendering to MP4 files is that the final result looks excellent and the file size is not very large. There are several ways to render MP4 files. Let's start with the first way, to render through an external software called Media Encoder. This software is automatically installed when you install After Effects. Now go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, and once again, we get to the Render Queue panel. This time, we don't change anything here. We don't even need to change the name because we'll do all this through the Media Encoder. Instead, to press the Render button, Press this button, Q and AME. Wait a couple of seconds. We can see our render after the program is opened. The most important thing to do before rendering through the media encoder is to check this option in the renderer. And now, if we click here, just like render Q of After Effects, we choose which file to render. H.264 is an MP4 file. In preset, we will leave the best quality. We can also select render at maximum render, and here you can select use maximum render quality. Here I see how much the final file will weigh. And if we go down in the video category, we can see that there is a VBR1 pass down here. We can change the quality of the video from here. If we want to increase the quality, set it to 20. And now I see that the size has changed accordingly. The more bitrate you set, the more the file will weigh. But even if we leave it at 10, and the file will weigh a little, its quality will still be very good. Let's click OK. Here in the output file, we choose where to save the video. I'm already in the samples folder, and of course, I'll change the name to class 0 suffix v01. This time, as you can see, the suffix is mp4 and not a mov. Now click save and then, either click enter or click the play icon and wait until the video is finished rendering. Now we can click on the link and thus reach the folder where we rendered the mp4 file. The file weighs only 12.9 megabytes. If we open it, you will see that the quality is really good and the video plays smoothly. Okay, let's close the video. Let's get rid of all these windows. And here in Media Encoder, we can delete the render, select Yes and close the software itself. We can also delete it from the render queue here, because we rendered it through the Media Encoder. And now let's learn about another way to render MP4 file. So as always, we ensure that the work area is where it should be, where the animation of the entire video ends. 
Now go to Composition, and instead of sending the composition to the render queue of After Effects, then passing the render to a media encoder, we can simply click Add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. It will transfer the composition directly to Media Encoder. And here, once again, we are in the same situation as before. We can choose the settings we want as before and where to render, but let's not do that because we already rendered from the Media Encoder. Let's close it for now. And now, I'll show you the fastest way to render an MP4 file. So if you're working on After Effects 2023 or higher, you can render MP4 files directly from After Effects without sending them to Media Encoder. I must show you how to render through Media Encoder in case some of you are still using old After Effects versions. So for everyone using version 2023 and above, good news! We can render MP4 files directly through After Effects Render Queue. Let's see how to do it. First of all, we make sure that we are in the composition that we want to render. Also, make sure that the work area is where it should be. Now go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, and now in the Output Module, we can choose H264. Remember, this option can be found only in version 2023 and above. So let's click on it. And now, in Format Options, we can choose the quality of the MP4. Here it is important to select the hardware encoding, and here we choose what we like. If we choose the CBR10 option, then the final video will come out in the quality you see now on the screen. In our case, we will change it to VBR. And here we will change this time to 50, for maximum quality. Press OK here. And here. And now, we will choose the location, and change the name. Because we have already rendered an MP4 file, we see this video here. I will select it so that the name of the file I am rendering now will change, and I will change it to the suffix V02. Click render and wait until the rendering is finished. Alright, let's open the folder and see what we got. The file weighs 30 megabytes, that's more than the MP4 that we rendered through the media encoder, because we rendered through the media encoder in VBR10, and this time VBR50. Okay, let's play the video and see how it looks. Now, let's close the video and talk about the last way how we can render MP4 files. I will delete this file, and change the name of this one. And now, let's see what the last way is. Let's say you closed After Effects, and now you need to send an MP4 video file to the client. And luckily for you, you rendered the video as a MOV file in the highest quality. In this case, we can open the Media Encoder software. After the software is opened, we can simply drag the high-quality MOV file and convert it to a high-quality MP4 file as we did before. I won't render it because we already have a high-quality MP4 file. I just wanted to show this option. Okay, so that's the end of the lesson. We'll meet in the next and last lesson for this course, where we will learn how to collect the project. We will understand what collect is, and why it is so important to know how to do it. See you in the next one.